got a Yamaha G29 electric golf cart here, and we're going to show you how to do a solenoid swap on this. Uh, to start this process, you need to come over here and remove this seat to so we can get to the batteries and we are going to disconnect the battery so we won't create any electrical issues i'm going to come to your first battery in your series where everything's connected and disconnect the all of the negative connections and to start with also flip it to toe so this is a 14 millimeter nut that removes we're going to pull these wires off and tuck them out of the way just so they won't jump back up and make a connection there then what we're going to do next is remove this rear seat. Um, we've already removed this. Um, you're basically going to take out these four bolts that connect in here. Um, we just already removed this seat just to save a little bit of time in this video. So we'll set that out of the way. The next step here is we're going to remove this cover that's right here that, so we can get to the uh, solenoid, which is about right in here. Um, and to do that by coming down here under the seat, and there's two little fasteners here. You can just pop them out with a flathead screwdriver, pull it out. Get this other little one out. Same over here. Move that one. Pop that out. And then this cover will just pull forward and out of the way. Now that removed. That exposes the solenoid right here. So what I'm gonna do first is disconnect the wires before I remove it, because some of these wires don't have enough length to disconnect the solenoid and pull it out to work on it. So uh, what I'm gonna do first here is disconnect these top posts. And that is a 13 millimeter nut on top. Mm -hmm. big negative wire and a small wire here set that out of the way set that all the way and we got two more connections down here and those are 10 millimeters I need an extension that one off that one's rusty this golf cart's been at the beach so everything's a little rusty these wires removed and we can remove the two bolts that are holding the solenoid to the frame and those are 10 millimeter it looks like Can't 
quite get my hands in there. So we were just gonna, since that one's a little hard to get to, we were just gonna loosen it. These are slotted so you don't have to take both of them all the way out. You can just remove one and leave one a little loose and slide the ceiling out. Actually, how it is, you can just loosen two of them. So here's our old solenoid. You see it's all rusted and corroded. And we've got our new one right here. So we're going to take off the hardware right now for these top two posts. Comes with a washer and a lock nut and the new nut. Those removed, we're gonna kind of just slide this back in here around these uh, mounting bolts. Okay. We'll snug those back up and hold everything in place before we connect the wires. Tighten back down. We can connect this positive lead. Actually, before we do the top ones, we'll do the bottom ones. Just so we don't block ourselves out. I forgot to remove these nuts and washers before I got started. And the nut back in place. And the same on the other side. get another socket so that for a little bit smaller. Snugged up and tight. Nose tight. We'll come back here to our big posts. We'll drop on the positive and the negatives. Oops. Drop on our washer and our lock washers. that I dropped. Alright. And those are a 
13 millimeter. So with that done, we'll come back around, reconnect our battery negatives. You can see this one's got a lot of stuff on this first negative post. tight we don't want a loose connection here it'll drain all the batteries in the series flip it back to run and we're good to go